This is Arash, your real estate agent with Keller Williams Memorial and Arash Realty Group in Houston, Texas. There have been a lot of changes to the rating system with FEMA for both renewal and new policies, which for some could cause rate increases. Caddy from Leisure Insurance with 18 years experience is here to let us know what's going on. Thank you so much for having me. I'm excited to talk to you guys today about the new rating system with FEMA. It's very timely because this new system will be effective October 1st, which is just days away, and we will all be affected by this. Whether you're a new homeowner purchasing a new home, looking to get flood insurance for that home, or perhaps you're an existing homeowner with flood insurance in force, we will all be subject to the new rating system soon. So why did they do it? The current system with FEMA is very archaic. It hasn't been changed in all the years that I've been an agent, and there are very few details that FEMA is currently using about your home to determine how much it should cost. And they recognize that's a big problem. The weather systems um, that we're having today and we're experiencing are becoming more drastic, they're becoming more frequent, and they've recognized that they don't have enough of a complicated model to determine what we should all pay. Some areas will go up, some areas will go down, but at the end of the day, the purpose is an equitable distribution of premium. If we live in Houston and we're not in a flood zone, for example, we pay the same rate as someone in an inland state with no water around them at all. And of course, the risks are different. Some new variables that they're taking into account now that they didn't before, um, for example, the value of your house. One inch of water in a million dollar house is going to cost different to rebuild and repair than one inch of water in a hundred thousand dollar house. And before FEMA was totally not taking that into account. Another example of a variable they're taking into account now that they were not before is going to be how close is the water source to your home? And what is that water source? Is it the ocean? or is it perhaps just a lake that might occasionally flash flood? So that's going to be a big part of what determines your new rate. The number of floors your house has, believe it or not, bared no weight on your premiums for flood insurance, and of course this time they will. Another good example, if you are a condo owner on the 25th floor, you were paying the same rate for your flood insurance as the person on the first floor, which doesn't make a lot of sense. So I suspect there will be about 70% of us that are gonna see a small change in our rates, uh, somewhere between 100 to $150 difference per year. And there will be a small percentage, unfortunately, that will see a pretty big increase, particularly here in the Houston area. And then a very small percentage that might see a rate reduction, not too likely for our Houston friends and surrounding areas. But the key takeaway that I want you to have today is that flood insurance remains very affordable. When we consider the money that we work very hard for to purchase these beautiful homes that we have that not only have monetary value but have a sentimental value to our families, um, the cost of flood insurance will always be better than the cost of damage when we don't have insurance. And so please keep this in the forefront of your mind, whether or not flood insurance is required, um, all of our Houston and surrounding areas really should plan um, to maintain flood insurance so that we can protect our assets and the things that we fill our home with. All of that needs to be pr um, properly insured and it's definitely an option that everyone can have. Wow, good information. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks for your time. Thank you, sir.